By the end of this lesson, students will be able to use the triangle mid-segment theorem to understand the relationship between triangle sides and segment lengths and to write and solve algebraic proportions. The midpoint is the point in the middle of a line segment that divides it into two equal halves. The mid-segment of a triangle joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle such that it is parallel to the third side of the triangle. In this figure, D is the midpoint of line segment AB and E is the midpoint of line segment AC. So by definition, D divides line segment AB into two equal halves. Therefore, line segment AD is congruent or equal to line segment DB. Also, E is the midpoint of line segment AC. So by definition, line segment AE is congruent to line segment EC. The mid-segment of a triangle joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, such that its length is half the length of the third side of the triangle. If line segment AD is equal to line segment DB, and line segment AE is equal to line segment EC, then line segment DE is parallel to line segment BC, and DE, line segment DE, is one half the length of line segment BC. Here, P is the midpoint of line segment AB, and Q is the midpoint of line segment BC. So line segment PQ is a mid-segment. Therefore, by the triangle mid-segment theorem, line segment PQ is equal to one half of line segment BC. So here we're going to substitute. We see that PQ is going to be X, and then we know that line segment BC is going to be six by looking at the picture. Therefore, the rest becomes algebra. Six divided by two equals three. The value of x is three. Given that line segment DE is the length of the mid-segment, find line segment BC. The mid-segment is half of the third side. Therefore, line segment DE is half of line segment BC. Here we have to substitute and the rest becomes algebra. DE is equal to seven. So seven equals one half BC, line segment BC. The next step is to multiply both sides by two. Seven times two is equal to one half BC times two. One half BC times two is just equal to BC. Therefore, 14 equals line segment BC. Find the value of X. There's two approaches to solving this problem. The first is that the mid-segment X is half the length of the third side to which it is parallel. Therefore, X is equal to 18 divided by two. 18 divided by two equals nine, and therefore X, the mid-segment, is equal to nine. The next approach is that the third side is twice the length of the mid-segment X. Therefore, we can set up an equation of two X equals 18. We're going to divide both sides by two, so 2x divided by 2 is equal to 18 divided by 2. 2x divided by 2 is equal to x, and 18 divided by 2, again, is 9. Find the value of x. First approach is that the mid-segment 3x is half the length of the third side, 84, to which it is parallel. 3x is equal to 84 divided by 2. 84 divided by 2 is equal to 42, so 3x is equal to 42. The next step is to divide both sides by 3. 3x divided by 3 is equal to 42 divided by 3. 3x divided by 3 is equal to x. 42 divided by 3 is equal to 14. Therefore, x is equal to 14. The next approach is that the third side, which is 84, is twice the length of the, the mid-segment, which is 3x. Therefore, 2 times 3x is equal to 84. 2 times 3x is equal to 6x. So the next step is to divide both sides by 6. 6x divided by 6 is equal to 84 divided by 6. 6x divided by 6 is equal to x. And 84 divided by 6, again, is 14. Therefore, x is equal to 14. Find the value of x. The mid-segment is half the length of the third side, which is 5x minus 2, to which it is parallel. So the setup for the equation to find the value of x 
as 4 is equal to 5x minus 2, all divided by 2. The next step is to multiply both sides by 2. So 2 times 4 is equal to 5x minus 2 divided by 2 times 2. 4 times 2 is 8, and 5x minus 2 divided by 2 times 2 is just 5x minus 2. The next step is to add 2 to both sides. 8 plus 2 is 10, and subtracting 2 and adding 2 is equal to 0, so we bring down the 5x, so 10 equals 5x. The next step is to divide both sides by 5, so 10 divided by 5 is equal to 5x divided by 5. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2, and 5x divided by 5 is equal to x, therefore x is equal to 2. The next approach is that the third side, which is 5x minus 2, again, is twice the length of the mid-segment, which is 4. So the equation would be 4 times 2 is equal to 5x minus 2. And simplifying this, 4 times 2 is equal to 8. The next step is to add 2 to both sides. So 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. And we bring down the 5x. Now we're going to divide both sides by 5. So 10 divided by 5 is equal to 5x divided by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2, and 5x divided by 5 is x. Therefore, x is equal to 2. Students should now be able to use the triangle mid-segment theorem to understand the relationship between triangle sides and segment lengths, and to write and solve algebraic proportions.